ഹലോ എവറി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ സയൻസ് അവർ സബ്ജെക്ട് കമ്പ്യൂട്ടർ ഫണ്ടമെൻറ്റൽസ് ആൻഡ് ടോപ്പിക് ബൂലിയൻ ഓൾജിബ്ര ആൻഡ് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിങ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ബേസിക്സ് ഓഫ് ബൂലിയൻ ഓൾജിബ്ര ടോപ്പിക്സ് ആർ ബൂലിയൻ ഓപ്പറേഷൻസ് ലോജിക് എക്സ്പ്രഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് ബേസിക് പോസ്റ്റ്ലി സ്റ്റാർട്ടിങ് വിത്ത് ബൂലിയൻ ഓൾജിബ്ര ഇൻ മെനി സിറ്റുവേഷൻസ് ഇൻ അവർ ലൈഫ് we face questions that require a yes or no answers right similarly much of our thinking process involves answering questions with yes or no the way of finding truth by answering such two valued question is known as human reasoning or logical reasoning so underline these terms ഹ്യൂമൻ റീസണിങ് ഓർ ലോജിക്കൽ റീസണിങ് ലോജിക്കൽ റീസണിങ് മീൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ദ വേ ഓഫ് ഫൈൻഡിങ് ട്രൂത്ത് ബൈ ആൻസറിങ് ടു വാല്യൂഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് ദാറ്റ് ടു വാല്യൂസ് ആർ ഐതർ യെസ് ഓ നോ ദീസ് വാല്യൂസ് ക്യാൻ ബി എക്സ്പ്രസ്ഡ് ആസ് ട്രൂ ഓർ ഫോൾസ് ആൻഡ് ന്യൂമറിക്കലി ബൈ വൺ ഓ സീറോ അവർ യെസ് ഇസ് ട്രൂ ആൻഡ് നോ ഇസ് ഫോൾസ് സിമിലർലി ട്രൂ ഹാസ് എ വാല്യൂ വൺ the false has a value zero these values are known as binary values or boolean values again underline these terms boolean values or binary values these values are either 1 or 0 or either true or false boolean algebra is the algebra of logic which is a part of mathematical algebra that deals with operations on variables that represents the values 1 and 0 so boolean algebra deals with variables having the values 0 and 1 only and these are questions like we are having only two answers yes or no the name boolean algebra is given to honor the british mathematician george boole as he was the person who established the link between logic and mathematics okay from his name george boole boolean algebra is derived his revolutionary paper an investigation of the laws of thought led to the development of boolean algebra this is small history about boolean algebra the sentences which can be determined to be true or false are called logical statements or truth functions and the results true or false are called binary values or logical constants so here we have discussed two terms right logical statements or truth function this is one term and uh, binary values or logical constants this is the second term so the sentences which can be determined to be true or false that sentences are known as logical statement or truth functions and their values their results either true or false results that zero and one values are called as binary values or logical constants the logical constants are represented by 1 and 0 where 1 stands for true and 0 stands for false the variables which can store logical constants 1 and 0 are called logical variables or boolean variable hope the concept is clear so the our logical statements are the statements which can be determined to be true or false and the results true or false or the values of ones and zeros uh, are known as boolean variables or logical constants or binary values okay the variables which can store logical constants one and zero are called logical variable or boolean variable so this one and zero or the results of logical statements are known as binary value or logical constants and the variables used to store this constants are called as boolean variable okay suppose uh, we are going to write like this uh, a equal to true a's value is true true means one right a equal to one then this one is our logical constant and this a is our boolean variable the variables used to store this logical constants are known as boolean variables okay moving on to the next slide uh, what is a logical expression a logical expression is a statement 
that can either be true or false okay we have already discussed about the logical statement right that is a uh, logical expression is same as that logical statement so this logical expression is a statement this is an expression or statement that can be either true or false it can take only two values zero or one or true or false for example uh, let the statement a less than b so this is a logical expression so here the statement can be true or false depending on what values of a and b are given okay if you are giving a3 and uh, b5 then the statement is true uh, if we are giving a5 and b3 then our statement is false so this statement can take any values like uh, it can take 0 or 1 true or false values depending upon what values of a and b are given this differs this is a logical expression and this differs from a mathematical expression which denotes a true statement in mathematical expression a less than b means it is a fact this is a statement is a true statement a is always less than b the mathematical expression a less than b means that a is less than b and values of a and b were a greater or equal to b are not permitted like in case of a less than b uh, if we write like 3 less than 5 okay that's fine but we cannot write like 5 less than 3 because any statements in which a is greater than or equal to b are not permitted here because this is a truth statement here a less than b is a mathematical expression and a will be always less than b no other values are permitted only values that satisfies this statement this expression is only allowed here that is the difference between a mathematical expression and a logical expression in but in logical expression the statement can take two values either 0 or 1 moving on to the next slide boolean operations the operations performed on boolean values are called boolean operation so boolean value or boolean variable is something some variable that can store logical constant that can store zeros and ones right so then operations performed on this boolean variable or boolean values are called boolean operation operators for to perform an operation we require operators and operand right uh, for uh, consider an example a plus b in this a plus b that plus sign is the operator a and b are operands likewise here also we need to perform a boolean operation we need operators these operators are called boolean operators or uh, logical operators and there are three basic logical operators in boolean algebra okay what are they first one is or or is one of the basic logical operators and it uh, denotes logical addition and and denotes logical multiplication not not denote logical negation computers perform these operations with some electronic circuits they are known as logic circuit okay so in this lecture series uh, we have discussed many important topics many important terms boolean algebra logic constants boolean operator boolean operation boolean variable okay so uh, these are the boolean operators right basic three basic logical operators are or and and not to perform this basic logical operators computers require some electronic circuit okay in computer everything is performed using some electronic circuit right so that electronic circuits are known as logic circuits a logic circuit is made up of individual units called gates okay the individual unit of a logic circuit is known as gates so we require gates to perform these logical operations gates are the building blocks of logic circuits logic circuits are used some electronic circuits used to perform this logical operators the again uh, there are logic three basic logic operators so we are having three basic logic gates and they represent three basic boolean operators this gates are to perform these uh, operations we require three basic gates they are or gate and gate and not gate okay 
So this is all about the Boolean operations. Uh, Boolean operations are performed on Boolean values. And uh, operators are required. Three basic operators are OR and NOT. OR AND and NOT. And to perform this operator, we require electronic circuits like logic circuits. And the gates are the smallest element of a logic circuit. And there are three basic logic gates. They are OR gate, AND gate and NOT gate. Let's examine each gate in detail. First one is AND operator and gate. Okay. AND operator performs logical multiplication. We have already discussed that, right? AND operator performs a logical multiplication and it is represented by the symbol this dot. Okay. Dot is the symbol of AND. And uh, uh, one more thing, if uh, we want to perform AND of two Boolean variable like A and B, we can write like this. A dot B means A and B. Okay. Next, so this is about the operator. This dot is the operator, AND operator. Next, about the electronic circuit, that is AND gate. This is the AND gate. This is how we represent AND gate. Here, two inputs are provided. They are A and B. And this is our representation of AND gate. And result is A and B. A and B is represented like A dot B. Okay. This is the diagram of AND gate and uh, for uh, each gate we have truth table. Truth table shows the input values and their corresponding output values for all the input combinations. So here two inputs are there. So we have two raised to two, four input combinations like 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. This is our truth table and these are the input values A and B. A and B are our input and A dot B are our outputs. Uh, they can take four values, um, all the combinations of two bit numbers, two bit zeros and ones, right? Uh, zero, zero. For A, A, zero, B, zero, A dot B is zero. A, zero, B, one, and our result is zero. A, one, B, zero, result is zero. A, one, B, one, our result is one. So, in A and B, we get a one only when A and B are one, okay? For every other cases, a zero is uh, our output. Okay. An AND gate produces a one only when both inputs are ones. For every other cases, we get a zero. And this is all about AND gate. So it performs a logical multiplication and denoted by the symbol dot. This is our gate and this is our truth table. In this truth table, um, we have a 1 only when both A and B are 1. Otherwise, we will get a 0. Next is OR operator and gate. OR operator performs logical addition. Our AND performs logical multiplication. So, here OR performs logical addition. And it is represented by the symbol PLUS. Next, our OR gate representation. There is a curved structure. Okay, For AND, here it is straight line. And here it is curved structure. But uh, in case of OR, here is a curved structure and here it is somewhat pointed. Okay. And uh, uh, we have two inputs A and B and our output is A plus B. Here the symbol of operator of OR is plus. Two symbols A and B uh, OR. Uh, it is represented like A pl plus B. Uh, for AND, uh, it is like A dot B. Right. Plus is the operator for OR. Next, uh, we can consider the truth table. This is a truth table. Um, you can see we get a 0 only when A and B are 0. For every other cases, our output is a 1. Here, if any of the input is 1, this is an OR statement, right? We are performing addition, logical addition. So, if any of the input is 1, our output will be 1. So in the first case, both inputs are 0. No 1s are here. So, our output is 0. In all other case, we have any of the input is 1, right? So, our output will be 1. Uh, this is all about the OR gate or OR operator. Then last one is NOT gate or negation, right? NOT operator and gate. NOT performs a logical negation. And is represented by the symbol, this bar, complement symbol. This is known as complement. Uh, this is an upper 
hyphen right and uh, also uh, we can denote like an inverted comma this one is also used for representing a logical negation uh, not gate this is a symbol of not gate a triangle followed by a bubble a circle here it is a unary operator it is having a single input if we provide an input it will provide the negated value the complemented value if we give zero as input we will get zero dash or zero complement is one as output if we give one as input and we get zero as output so let's check the truth table same if a is zero then a complement is one if a is one a complement is zero this is about the logical operator i mean boolean operator boolean operations logic gates basic logic gates next topic is basic postulates of boolean algebra uh, what is meant by this postulate boolean algebra being a system of ma mathematics consists of certain fundamental laws so our postulates are some fundamental laws and these fundamental laws are called postulates and uh, this postulates do not have any proof okay we know in mathematics every theorem every statement is having some proof right but our postulates postulates are fundamental laws and they do not have any proof but are made to build solid framework for scientific principles let's check what are the postulates basic postulates of boolean algebra the postulate one first postulate principles of zero and one fundamental principles of zero and one if a not equal zero then a equal to one and if a not equal to one then a equal to zero this is a postulate one uh, we know that for in boolean algebra we are having only two values true and false and zero do not false and one do not true okay if our a is not equal to zero a is not equal to zero means a is having one because we are ha we are having only two values zero and one if a is not zero then it will be surely one if a not one then surely it will be a zero that is postulate one then postulate two or operation or logical addition um it states the rules of logical addition here we can see zero plus zero when we add two zero we will get a zero when we add a zero and one we will get a one again when we add a one and zero we will get a one when we add two ones we will get two right but that is the case of binary oh sorry that is in case of decimal addition and uh, in binary addition we will get a uh, one as result and zero zero as result and one as carry right one zero we will get one zero but in case of logical addition when two ones are added we get a one okay when two zeros are added we get a zero when one zero and one one are added we get a one when two ones are added we get a one next postulate three and operation logical multiplication rules of multiplication here when two zeros are multiplied we get a zero when a zero and a one is multiplied we get a zero zero into something always zero right same principle supplied here and uh, when two ones are multiplied we will get a one this is the logical multiplication rule postulate number three zero into zero 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 into one zero one into zero zero one into one one last postulate postulate number four not operation logical negation or complement rule zero complement zero complement is one one complement is zero another way of representing this is like zero complement equal to one and one complement equal to zero this is the postulate number four okay this is all about today's class we have discussed the basics of boolean algebra history then some basic topics like the boolean operators logical expression and then basic logical gates like and or not and postulates of boolean algebra hope the concept is clear thank you